Hi. Sorry for the inactivity, but uh, I just wanted to make a video once I had something, uh, just a, a clear idea that I came up with. Because uh, basically, occasionally, um, I don't know if it's the Holy Spirit giving me um, this idea or possible true insight, or if it's my own mind coming up with it. Um, uh, I know that the Holy Spirit works through, it pops ideas into your head just as much as uh, occasionally uh, demons will pop ideas in your head. If you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will guide you. Um, but basically, uh, I was told about um, something that made a lot of sense to me. And uh, apparently this is the way it is, is that uh, there's something called the courts of heaven. So in heaven, there is courts or courtrooms where I guess decisions are made. And apparently it's based off of, um, I don't really know how, what it's based off of. It's based off like the sincerity of a prayer that's made. So like if you really need this, then potentially it gets answered. Although, I don't really know uh, how exactly it works, and I obviously know that people have prayed in dire times before, and I understand that. Um, but, uh, like, it just reminded me, and, like, the, a person who was talking about it basically said that their wife was having all this pain, abdominal pain, and then they were prayed for, like, 10 minutes, and then they said, okay, did it go away? And she said no. And then somehow he prayed in a way that uh, contacted the courts of heaven, which basically made his prayer uh, very connected or something. I, I don't know. But it's, you know, you're calling upon um, supernatural healing from God. You know, that's what you're doing when you're praying. If you're praying for healing. And... You know, uh, apparently the, the way this person thinks of it, if you look up Courts of Heaven on YouTube, there's a series made by uh, a man. So he basically uh, had it. So he somehow, I don't know what he did. I'll have to rewatch the video, but he said the atmosphere kind of changed and it became like tense and, like, uh, I guess he was meaning to say, like, in the moment, like, the moment mattered. It wasn't just on his own time praying by his own whim, you know? And that's the same way it felt when I asked God, please fix my ankle. And then I heard jump three times. Like, I literally just straight walked over to, like, into the middle of my basement gym area very carefully just picked up the skipping rope not intending to use it just out of habit almost you know and then I hopped three times and it was very like I don't know it felt like literally uh the whole room was very uh like usually you're just kind of tunnel visioned around except I was not tunnel vision at that time like literally I was wide eyed awake to the room around me and I almost kind of like envisioned in my head that a lot of potentially angels were watching me at that exact moments, which it probably was the case because they were granting a miracle for me. So it's like if you ask for a miracle and then you get told to jump three times to get the miracle done for you, it's pretty um, heightened, uh, tense circumstance at that moment. Because you're you're doing a miracle through the power of your own creator, and you're asking for it, and he's granted, you know? So it's pretty tense, the moments that you're like, okay, I'm going to walk over, and I'm going to do what the voice told me, which is jump three times. And then it immediately, like, wanted to, like, pop and move, and then on the third, it cracked back into place. So, uh... In the, in the Courts of Heaven video, it makes a lot of sense to me because he was saying that, like, when he was praying for his wife's abdominal pain, he said the atmosphere in the room changed. 
So I'm guessing he's basically saying the same thing as what I experienced because it really, the atmosphere really changed in the room the moments before I was doing it, you know? So, you know, when I hear something like that, I'm just like, okay, that literally relates to what I experienced. It's the same thing, you know? Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, what he said, what, what, what happens in the courts of heaven is that if anyone says something bad about somebody, because there is life and death in the power of the tongue, like the way it apparently actually is, and this is like the way that you can look at it full time, is that if someone like your parent is literally speaking bad about you and saying you can't do this, you won't do this, you'll never do that, and you can't do it or whatever, and you're bad... Well, then literally those words are not just hitting nothing, hitting the air and falling down. And if you get affected by it, that's your problem. And maybe you should just move on and not pay any mind to what people are saying. Apparently, uh, I'm assuming this is for people close to you rather than people who don't know you, who... So they don't know you, then like there's only so much people can say because it means nothing if they don't know your name really. But this is in like the context of like a parent talking bad about their child. Apparently, Satan um, goes to the courtrooms of heaven and says his own like their own father is saying some is saying bad things about him, and he gets permission to like I don't know make these bad things come to pass, make the life, make the life of the person worse, entangle them in more bondage because it give like, I don't know, maybe, it, maybe that, maybe if a parent speaks bad about their child, you know, Satan goes to the courts of heaven. Okay. And he says, look, even the father of this person is speaking bad about their son and that, get, and then he can literally claim rights to, add bondage to that person's life and add and get legal rights to demonically oppress them. Like I would not be surprised if that's honestly the way it is, is that cause Satan is the accuser. So I would not be surprised if one of the other is, if one of like the ways the world works is that if someone's, if like someone close to you is speaking bad about you, like let's the parent examples, basically, you know, uh, I bet, I bet that's what goes on, probably, because I heard in the Tsunami Dream, uh, Corey Anderby testimony, like, the guy who was homeless, uh, he, when he saw his dad, when demons brought his dad from hell out in front of him, uh, and then literally his dad said he was proud of him for what he was doing, and then the demons were, like, beating on the dad because they owned him because he was in hell, it's really horrible. Uh, basically, Corey was pleading with God, saying, God, can you just, like, make my, make him never exist? Or can you put him on another planet? Can you take him out of hell? Anything but going back there? And then apparently, what he heard, you know, I'm just repeating what uh, the man said for, from his testimony, is that uh, God apparently said, I can't do that. It would, there would be war. So, you know, I know I'm just, like, putting together, uh, like, tidbits of info from different, uh, accounts and stuff, except nobody's a liar here, like, nobody's lying and nobody's crazy, so, you know, if that's the way it is, you know, is that there, you know, because if the third of the angels fell from heaven... And the state of the world now is, you know, like the, 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 de the demons are trying to cause humankind to sin on earth. And you have to be wise enough to understand that you're passing through this place. So, you know, 
don't get wrapped up in media because it's not real that type of thing like don't sin off of what you've learned from what you've seen in the world like go back to god's word just live like that because like you'll find that it's the correct way that's what i found but uh but from that sentiment of there would like there would that would cause war for him to take somebody out of hell that got themselves in there by not I don't even know being a good man I don't know I think Corey's dad was an alcoholic I don't know what his story was exactly but I guess he didn't think he would go to heaven and then he didn't end up going to heaven I don't know but you know like that kind of sentiment of there'd be war well that means there's two sides and they are functioning it's not just uh the human the, it's not just that the human race is on earth and we're the only thing going apparently it could be very well that there's two actual sides and we're actually just caught in the middle which makes sense uh and you know if you can find any more information about that um it's kind of a good perspective to learn about because um it puts things in perspective that, uh, you know, that you're actually kind of just a free agent in this and that you choose to go to heaven by, you know, following the commands of who you're trying to join up with for eternity, you know? Um, but yeah, that was just, that, that was just, uh, um, I don't know if I communicated the actual idea that I thought of or popped into my head, but uh, I just tr was trying to remember what I came up with. But uh, occasionally I'll get um, an original idea that I think is like worth saying to other people because I think it's like good insight and information that I'll come up with just by, I don't know if it's the Holy Spirit giving it to me or or I'm just coming up with it, but it just pops into my head. And I think it's like a, either it's like a psychological insight or just, I don't know, some sort of insight or idea that I think is original. Like I didn't hear it from somewhere else. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's all uh, under the pretense context of going to heaven. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm currently uh, going to be praying to the courts of heaven because apparently you can also pray to the courts of heaven to officially get a prayer answered. I think that was another uh, in information piece from the uh, videos online. But yeah. So. Uh, as far as the demonization I now for you know a few weeks have had no intrusive thoughts that are self-condemning where I'm just like swearing at myself and tearing myself down over and over in like uh, like just constantly as I walk around that's what's playing in my head and then I would have to think uh, with that in the background thinking that's just what was playing in my head but now that that's gone um it allows me to be a lot more clear, which is good. It's how it should be. And, uh, yeah, I will make a video the next time I have something to add. And uh, thanks for listening. See you next time.